Okay, let's do a little discussion about the difference between our parameters and our statistics. Uh, so that this is a really important thing to know. So our parameters are about the population. And our statistics come from our sample. Okay, so when we are talking about our descriptive statistics, we're talking mostly about, there are three kind of major ones, uh, where we're talking about the mean, uh, our standard deviation, and our variance. So we're gonna kind of start off with those today. So when we talk about the mean, for the population, we are talking about mu, and that is the population mean, the true mean value of whatever we're measuring in the population. If we're measuring tree heights on Casper Mountain, that would be the true average height of all the trees on Casper Mountain. So mu would then equal, okay, we've got to do some summation notation. Summation from i equals 1 to capital N. So from your first tree all the way to every single tree at the end. This would be xi, your individual tree measurement, tree height, divided by the total sample size. So that should be pretty normal. Now, most of the time we don't know what all the population values are. We don't have enough time to go measure every single tree. So we go out and we take a sample. So from our sample size, we talk about means in terms of x bar. So this is equal to, once again, the sum still from i equals 1. This time it's to little n of our sample size. And we still say xi, we're going to take all the measurements of our sample and then divide by our sample size. So that gives us, we can start to see the difference between the calculations of our population and of our sample, of our parameters and our statistics. So let's keep on on this idea so we can talk about the variance. Now the variance is written with sigma squared and it equals, back to our summation notation, I equals 1 to n. Now we get this little complicated. x sub i, so that's your individual measurement, minus the mean squared divided by n. This is the average squared distance from the mean. So the average distance squared from the mean. We're trying to figure out how far away are our measurements on average from the mean. Our variance helps us do that. So if we look at it on the sample end, or statistic end, we use s squared. And it looks similar, it's still our summation from i equals one to little n. But this time we don't know what mu is, so we're gonna substitute in x bar. Still square it, divide it by our sample size, and then we also have to subtract one from our sample size. So still, we're trying to find the average distance from the mean. So then, if we want to know what the standard deviation is, we've done all the hard work. We literally just take the square root of our variance, or the square root of this guy. And that will give you your standard deviation. Over here, same concept. The, standard, the sample standard deviation just equals the square root of the variance. So going back and forth between variance and standard deviation is very simple. All you have to do is either if you want to get to standard deviation from the variance, take the square root. If you have the standard deviation and you want the variance, you just square the standard deviation. 